Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Talking to Myself, the channel. I'm your host, Nick, and we're back with another video. And today, guys, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I have dated men for over half of my life at this point. So I can say it with my full chest. Most men are fucking awful. Most men don't see you as a human. They do not. They see you as a vessel, as a thing to have, to win, to dominate, and show off, and you stay. You stay because it's normalized. You stay because, oh, I guess this is how straight guys are, right? Mm. And then you get the whole, no, no, man, not all of us. Big guy. We so this is what I'm saying, right? before she get into another little issue. Um, I don't want to memorize her experiences. Obviously, her experiences with men have been awful. I haven't been anything to write home about, right? To the point where she felt that the most men in her in her worldview and what she's seen or interactions or just interactions with other people she's heard have been horrific to the point where she think most men ain't shit, right? To put it bluntly. Um, but there are also experiences of other women who have Beautiful, wonderful experiences with men. Never really have issues or write home about with uh, men that they've been in their life, right? I will also add this tidbit. Obviously, women don't like saying that you have to pick better men, right? Men can be uh, manipulative. Men can be very smooth in the way they talk and make it seem that they're going to do things that they're not going to do. And then you don't realize that they're not going to do these things until they're too late, right? I would say to the what I can only say is that you have to figure out the only thing you can change is yourself in these situations. Maybe change the environment you're in. Maybe change, see why you can't in, run it into or interacting with men that are not giving you or what you think you should see in men, right? Because I think there are so many, men are very complex. I think we get this notion that men are not complex. Men are not a, a very simple people. I don't think so. I think just like women are super complex, men are complex in different ways, and that therefore constitutes a lot of different men and variety of men that can satisfy or meet the needs of what this woman or other woman would need, right? I'm not here to bash her and think that she's terrible, but I just think there is a uh, level of absolute that we don't need to go to when it comes to that every man or every woman is like, Sad thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, we know it's not out of you, but it's an overwhelming amount of you. And you get some fucking Gen X or Boomer who's like, We're half like dying alone. We're already dying alone, Steven. You haven't been to the doctor in 20 years. And your wife, the one you openly talk about hating, yeah, she's gonna die alone too. And she's probably looking forward to it. And so, you know, I also don't want to go to that absolute either, when like, you know. Because I think we're not having a conversation of why a lot of these women are frustrated with men, right? And I don't want to make it seem that all oh, women are suck, they need to do this, and da da that, or whatever. But I understand the frustration it can uphold if you're not seeing the results you feel like you can see, you want to see in relations towards the opposite sex, right? You know what I mean? But I don't know. There's another one I just wanted to go back. It is every time that you are intending to speak to a group of people who have the same experiences as you do, you just have groups of men being like, Get alive yourself. You're an object. <laughs> My mommy never hugged me. Body count matters. Uh, have you ever thought that you're the problem? That's because you don't pick nice guys. Women are worse. Men don't do them. Pick better men. Actually, men treating women bad is their fault. You're right, Bobby. You know, when you're right, you're right. It's cool. I think in instances, can women pick better men? Yes. And it says, can um, men be better? Yes. Can men be better just overall? Absolutely. Right? But I think what happens is a lot of people get online, and not saying she does this, um, and they automatically project the issues they have had with men or men project the issues they have had with women and say this is all women. Now, obviously, a lot of people have shared the same experiences and they have shared a lot of things, but it's not every man, just like it's not every woman that's looking for your bank account or, or only here for these things or only going for bad boys and these things and these nature. I think what happens is that we do a disservice because then there's a, there's a discord of, of women or a discord of men saying negative things about women, right? This, uh, this a discord of men uh, saying negative things about women or women saying negative things about men, right? And it leaves uh, to be desired because then nothing changes because it's just negative shit from this side, negative shit from the other side, and then there's no 
hey, there are actual real people outside that's really doing great things out here. And we need to acknowledge that, but you know. Effectively, all women's faults that men are literally our biggest natural predator. And it's totally our fault that we're no longer settling for shitty men. And because of that, you can't get anyone to fuck you. It's the same comments every time. The fact that they're able to type is fascinating since their reading and comprehension levels are fucking shit. <laughs> At the end of the day, you make a video sharing or expressing something, you even connect it to a video with so much information and data on it, and they still don't fucking believe you because they get butthurt. This is why no one likes you when you're single. I'm not single. <laughs> what made you think that? Because I don't like misogynistic men? Yeah, he knows that about me. He loves that about me. He doesn't like them either. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, never mind. So she's with somebody. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to judge. But I think that, you know, maybe she should get online and explain, well, what, where do you find those men? Because there are women in the comments that's like, oh, yeah, all men are like this. But you find a great man that see understands your views, understands where you're coming from. So it can't be all men because you have a man right there that's great, that understands where you're coming from. Maybe you should share your experiences of, Helping other women find men like that so you can grow a community where people share the experiences and they can calm down the misandry, calm down the, um, sorry, the um, misogyny and all those things, right? That's just me, guys. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.